the other day I went and shot an ad in Raj Kamal Studios, you know, after really long. And I was like, man, this is where uh, I debuted because I Ish Wish was shot uh, in Raj Kamal Studios, you know. I didn't have hair on my chest, you know, lots of hair coming out of the shirt like that and all. I had to feel like there was nothing. I'm not romantic, but I'm angry. Radio Nasha! Hi, Radio Nasha. I know this और मैं जानती हूँ कि ये शुरुआत जो है अब 2003 की वो एक official शुरुआत थी but you were dancing with me at Shyamam Tower and before that in fact I have a photo of us you know at SDIP oh my god don't show it to the world <laughs> let's keep it to ourselves it's too you know the Aryan is the Aryan face right. it's the आँखों में तेरा चेहरा है face right, right. Uh, do you ever get time अपने schedule में to look back or kya yaad aata hai un dino ka it's so funny because you know just uh, last week uh, my daughter also dances is doing classes with shama ken uh, so she had uh, her performance and so i had gone there uh, uh, to see it and then uh, you know because they dance on stage and yeah, it's called park it's called yeah, yeah. park yeah. uh, so marzi was there and you know he called me on stage and uh, he asked me exactly the same thing and it felt like life has come a full circle you know i mean i started there and today my kids are going there and um it still feels the same there's great energy there always so um of course shamak is a ledge i love him yeah. he is a ledge he is a ledge i love him yeah. i don't know how he still manages to look the same have you have you have you noticed you have seen recently bilkul waise what's going on with you i don't know what's up with him he, okay. he's got some dancing no he's got some major like uh, beauty game going somewhere so it's it's over yeah but he looks amazing and it's great to be there and these are the moments that remind you about how much time has gone by otherwise very honestly in my head i i feel like you know not much has changed it still feels the same i'm happy doing the same stuff um the other day i went and shot an ad in raj kamal studios you know after really long and i was like man this is where uh, i debuted because i ish wish was shot uh, in raj kamal studios you know so stuff like that does happen but life feels the same you know in terms of the fact that i'm still doing what i love and uh, i mean we meet often yeah. and i meet so many people who've been here and doing this for so long so It, it's actually super cool and i think it's a really interesting phase in my career where uh, you know there is a lot that has happened and i still feel there's a lot that's in front of me and i'm somewhere in the middle right now so it's uh, it's interesting because you have a little bit of both sides right as maybe 15 years down the line there'll be more to reminisce than to do um and 10 years back or even 7 8 years back maybe it was more about i've just started there's so much more to do this is like i have a little bit of a window on on either side either side so i think it's great to be in a place like that because yeah. i think it gives you good perspective yeah you know kyunki hum radio nasha hai hum mm-hmm. 70s 80s 90s uh ki filmon ke bare mein usually audience se baat karte hain right. and hum sab 90s kids hain mm. so i wanted to ask you growing up uh koi aisi film hai jo aapne dekhi ho that had an impact on you lekin jo bollywood ki film hai like for example i'll i'll share my film mm. and you try and top that or mm. meri film hai hum <laughs> Okay. Hum yeah. is like my ultimate action film. Waha par tiger hai and there's background score and there's Danny Dang Zomba aur itne sare villains hai and there's this Bachchan sahab coming. Yeah. And us door mein bhi Bachchan sahab was not playing the young angry, you know, yes. the angry young man. Yeah. He was a mature aadmi. To aisi koi film. Brazil enjoyed him in the younger portion more. Because that's how I always want to see it. Yeah. You know, I think yeah. uh, after a certain point the charisma or the persona of an actor becomes so much larger than his reality. Uh, you know, because He, that's what you're kind of married to and that's kind of what you associate with and you've grown up with it right yeah. so you want to see that as often as you can and you're okay if there is no connection between that and who he is personally you know a lot of people ask this question oh is it the right age to do this is it the right age to do that are yeah there are so many 20 year olds will they will you want to see a college romance with them mm-hmm. they might not satisfy you mm-hmm. so you know it's really about uh, perception and how people view you and uh, you know the memory and the love that people have for you after a certain number of years of work it very much becomes about that and and as you do more work you realize that you know this is how people view me this is how it has been and i need to respect that you know yeah let's go back to aisi filmein jinhone bahut impact kiya ho uh, action genre mein in action ji yeah. ha in the 80s and 90s and oh god in <laughs> 70s is also fine shole is a jeet bahut sari film too many i mean shole definitely is one such film i think shole was like the the first true blue western that we had bilkul and uh, the sequences in that film were spectacular and not just that i think the mood of that film and the ensemble and the performances of that film which is what i love actually i love action films where there is scope for performance for drama for 
um, you know, great moments and and the action comes from an emotional place, you know, like Very cool. so, you know, when Amit ji dies and when Dharam ji says, you know, what he says with that coin and that whole thing, you know, and then when Sanjeev Kumar takes his revenge, you know, those are like magic moments, you know. Um, so of course, Shole definitely falls in that category. Most of Amit ji's films fall in that category. I also enjoyed film. Like, I don't know if a Bazigar is an action film, but I really I remember it very strongly because it had action and it was very much about an angsty anti-hero. You yeah. know, so that also is a is a strong memory. Um, Ghayal was a was a yeah. fantastic action film. Uh, Raji and uh, you know um, uh, Sunny Deol, uh, so in in really in great form. So there are too many. There are yeah, too, too many, many. and yeah. there were yeah. a lot of Mard type heroes in the seventies, yeah. eighties, and nineties. You know that that Mardangi was there, <laughs> which is which is uh, so nice. You know, abhi ham thoda right. metrosexual type vibe aa gaya hai, but at that time it was like raw. You know, right. I used to love the rawness yeah. of that time. You yeah. know, and also, मेरे तो इतने बाल ही नहीं आते chest के ऊपर, ना lots of hair coming out of the shirt like that and all. I तो feel like तो है ही नहीं कुछ. लेकिन what क्या होता है जो demanding होता है action में physically बहुत demanding होता है mindset बदलता है. Okay, uh, so I think the obvious thing that everybody seems to talk about is the physicality of action. Mm. But I really feel that the magic of action is in the eyes. You have to convince the audience with your eyes mm. of the fact that you're going to kick some ass, mm. and it's not going to be, you know, practical if you think about it. Yeah. But you're going to buy it, and then you're going to. have that adrenaline rush yeah. and then you're going to want it to happen and then you're going to kind of like you know back the hero for doing it and uh, so i think the magic of action always comes from intensity and intensity has to be in the eyes it has to be that brooding raw real kind of visceral feeling which you need to create in your persona in your face in your eyes in your body language and if that feels right you'll go with it you know mm. because you want to go with it mm. right otherwise why would you watch an action film i don't think anybody watch it, watches an action film with a mindset ke hmm kaise justify hoga no people are like i want to see action now just don't make it look stupid like you know just Bilkul. make me buy Bilkul. it do it Bilkul. and that's it so i i very much think action is about is about that otherwise i would have probably been ready to do action much earlier but you need to spend a certain amount of time you need to have a certain kind of you know presence and confidence and people need to see you in roles which are of a certain caliber and quality for them to want to see you as an action hero who is a believable convincing performing action hero not uh, something which is a little kind of uh, um you know like just for effect so Se- yeah just doing it for the sake of doing it mujhe pata nahi ki aapko waqt mila action hero film dekhne ke liye no i actually haven't seen that oh, film but i've heard good things of whenever you watch it it starts with the premise ki action hero ho lekin gussa nahi aa raha hai Huh. It's actually fun, so I hope you can watch it at some point. I'm the last romantic hero, but I'm getting angry. Hey, only on screen. Yeah, only on screen. Only on screen. Let's clarify. Um, the last time we met, we were doing something for the first time, which is OTT. Yeah. And I remember that we were on stage for Farzi. Yeah. And us door me, I didn't see Farzi. We were just doing our work. Mm. And I went back, and when I saw the show, I just felt that uh, for me, as I said, I'm. slightly personally invested because we know you before you became shahid kapoor uh i just saw a different actor i don't know why and i could be wrong uh but i just feel that kuch to hai uh that might have changed has a penny dropped recently for you as an actor or am i getting it wrong or am i just projecting my feelings on <laughs> Oh, whatever it is i'm really happy thank you first of all fantastic and i just feel that it, the sunny just was a different league Uh, and I, I'm congratulating you for that, but I'm also trying to ask: Is there something ticking differently? Up to now, this week. Now, firstly, thank you. That's very kind of you. And uh, I think, uh, uh, like you said, because it was something I was doing for the first time. Um, you know, when you do something every day, every day, every day, you kind of get used to it. You know what you're doing. Uh, but when you're doing something for the first time. You know, your survival instinct is is can, is is yeah. kick is kicking in, right? Correct. And and for me. um debuting on ott i you know everybody thinks it's the same thing it's really not it's really not cuz um let's be honest when you are a hindi film hero you have songs and you have all these good looking shots and you have this heroine and then you have all these fun promos of you and then it's a lot to do with how you're looking and you know there's so many factors that support you in that kind of uh impact that you yeah. create right but but on ott especially when you're doing the genre and the nature of uh, uh you know 
storytelling that Farzi was, you're just the character, you know. And uh, so I knew that. I was like, okay, this is me, just the actor, you know. And if you see, I didn't change my silhouette too much for Farzi. Yeah. Um, not too much. Um, because I wanted to do that. I was like, you know, I have always changed how I look for every film that I do, right? So that also is somewhere uh, kind of like a crutch As to support yourself. Yeah. And uh, I'll be very honest with you. When I heard the story, I felt Sunny was me in my 19, 20, 21 in that, at that time because his artistic angst mm. and his treaty truth Vibe, yeah. and his slightly dysfunctional family background and his love for his nanu, which I had, was in love with my nanu. Yeah. Um, and his uh, deep set pain and confusion and frustration, I could relate to it. I could really relate to it. And I felt like this guy is me at one point in my life. Yeah. He just chooses to go in a very different direction. Right. But when it starts from the beginning, you know, the first two episodes are like that. I was like, I have gone from this You know, so I felt like I wanted to be like how I am and I wanted to play Sunny. And that character was very close to my heart. So maybe that's why you felt... I completely like, feel that and I, yeah. I must congratulate you again. But uh, from all of us at Radio Nasha, we really, really root for you. And Thank we'll you. continue to do that. Thank you so much for me show and for me to give you this time. Not at all. And, and, and these words mean a lot. So thank you so much for that. Thanks, Shahid. Radio Nasha! Radio Nasha.